All right, so here we are, and we're continuing the setup of our campaign. We've chosen our objective, we've set up our first ad set, and now we wanna build out our advertisement. And we're gonna use a single video. So there's a bunch of different advertisements you can do. Single image, a slideshow, a canvas, which is kind of a fancy thing for mobile, a uh, carousel, but the one that you wanna do is a video. That's the one you have the best chance of success with. And what you get to do is click this upload button and actually upload your video. Now, I already have some videos in my video library, so I'm gonna go ahead and just Choose one of the videos that I already have in here and click select. And Facebook's gonna begin actually uploading that video. It'll take a few minutes. Uh, and then you get to choose a thumbnail. So whatever thumbnail that you want to represent your video, it's not super important because most of the time the video auto plays in someone's newsfeed, uh, or you can upload your own custom thumbnail. Now Facebook's gonna recommend some uh, aspect ratios uh, for your video. So, you know, 16 by nine. This is what, if you turn an iPhone sideways, uh, it'll shoot in this uh, format here. But I'm sure your video is a good aspect ratio if you had it produced by, by you know, by yourself or someone that you know, um, or a professional. So choose your thumbnail and as you scroll down, now you get to actually edit the captions. So basically, um, these are the things that are gonna play on mobile when the sound is off. So when someone starts watching your video uh, on mobile, it just starts playing for them. The captions are gonna show up until they click on it to turn the sound on, which you really wanna have these on your video. They're a big help. So you click the edit button and what Facebook's gonna do is they're gonna automatically transcribe it. It's really funny what they put in here. It doesn't actually uh, you know, uh, transcribe very well. So what you wanna do is listen to the video Video. And as it goes, as you'll see, I'll just play this and turn off the audio. Um, you get to modify what's in these boxes. So actually go ahead and translate it as it goes. And that way, uh, what's going to happen is that your video will have really nice captions when it plays on mobile. So you're going to want to go through and do this video translation thing and then click the save to video button to get those captions onto your video. Now, as you scroll down, now you get to see an actual example of what your ad is going to look like on Facebook. I'm going to actually zoom out a little bit so you can see this a little better. So here you can see uh, what the ad going to look like on Facebook. What you want to do is choose your Facebook fan page. You can see this is the Ezra Firestone fan page, but since this video isn't for Ezra Firestone, I actually want to choose a different fan page. Now what we're seeing on the right is what the what the ad is gonna look like. This is the desktop news feed. Here's what it's gonna look like on a mobile news feed. So what I wanna do now is put the URL of my offer page into this field. So this is where you're gonna be directing people. Once this video ends, or they click the link in the video or underneath the video, it's gonna take them to your product offer page. So this is where you would put a link to your product offer page. So I'm gonna grab a link to my product offer page. I'm gonna paste it in there. Now you'll notice what happened when I put in this product offer page, Facebook dynamically inserted a headline and some text into my ad unit. Now I really, really don't want them to do that because that's not deliberate. Uh, it's not a deliberate headline. It's not deliberate text. I actually want to write custom content that relates to this video for the he headline and text field, which I've done. I'm going to paste in here now so you can take a look at it. Right. So the text field here on the left shows up above the video and you can see I've got, you know, incredible story about Cindy Joseph, who's the public figure behind my brand. And then I've got a link to our offer page right here again. So you would say, check out the product here. And that way, while they're watching the video, they could click the link in the text above the video, and that link is also on a mobile phone, right? to click over to your offer page. So I always like to have two sentences of text and I like to have a link to my offer page above the video. Then below the video, I have my headline, shocking story of the silver haired model. And then I have this call to action, learn more. I recommend changing that to shop now so that people are framed properly so that they know when they click this button, it's time to shop. So I call, I change that call to action to shop now. So now someone could click on um, this link right here, the headline, they could click shop now, or they could click this link to get into the uh, offer page, to click over from Facebook to your product offer page. Now, as we continue down, you'll notice there's some advanced options. You can pretty much get rid of, you don't have to put anything in here, that's advanced stuff, but what I do want you to make sure is that your pixel is tracking, that this thing is lit up in green, and that Facebook is gonna track your pixel on this ad. Now you'll also notice that when the video ends, we end our video with a customer testimonial, the whatever you select up here for shop now is gonna show up and that's also going to be clickable to the website URL that you put in for that ad. So when the video is actually over, they can also click it and it will take you to your product offer page. And I recommend not ending your video with an outro animation. A lot of people like to do these outro animations, but I like to have it cut directly to the call to action to shop for my product. And if you wanna make it even fancier, what you can do is you can put in a display 
display link here. Like I can just put in boom by Cindy Joseph.com in the ad, under advanced options display link. And then what's going to happen is when this video ends after someone has watched it all the way to the end, you can see we end with a customer testimonial here. And as this counts down, once it's finally over, it's going to display shop now. And then it's going to also display my uh, advanced option display link. See that shop now. And then it's got the URL, which looks a little prettier. So you probably want to fill out under advanced options, the display link as well. And then what you do is you click the review order button and it's going to say, okay, here, you know, you have one campaign, you have the objective of website conversions. You've created an ad set called targeting one and you're charged, you're, you're going for people on um, desktop news feeds and it's $10 a day. And here's the advertisement that you created. You can either place the order or save it to a draft. I want you to save it to a draft because we're going to actually create another ad set. So go ahead and click the save to draft button. And now inside of your power editor, which is where we're creating this, you have a new campaign set up and that campaign has an ad set within it. And that ad set within that campaign has an ad. And so what we want to do is duplicate this ad set. So what we're going to do is um, uncheck this right here so that we see this whole thing. Now this, this little editor allows you to edit the ad set or you could switch over to the campaign view and you could edit this campaign. I'm going to go into this ad set so that I'm looking at it. I'm going to make sure it's checked and I'm going to click the duplicate button. And when it pops up, it's going to say, do you want to keep the same campaign? And how many duplicates do you want? So I'm going to say, yes, keep the same campaign. And I want one duplicate. I'm going to click create. Now, when I do that, it's going to actually open up the duplicated ad set. And you'll notice it says targeting one video ads copy. I'm actually going to get rid of the dash copy. I'm going to change this to targeting two. And the only difference between this one and the other one is who we're putting this in front of. It's still on the uh, Facebook feeds. Uh, it's still uh, optimizing for add to cart. It's still $10 a day. What we're going to do is we're going to select one of our saved audiences. We saved five audiences so that we can target our advertisement to a different group of people. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to select targeting two, uh, which is what we say targeting two. This is the drag racing one. We said 15,000 people. So that's all set. So basically within this particular ad set, when I duplicated it, it also duplicated the advertisement, right? So now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to edit the ad name, which is going to be called creative one dash targeting two. And I never actually changed the ad name over here. So I'm going to do this and this is going to be creative one dash targeting one. Now, if you're lost, let me just explain that one more time. Okay. So what we had was a campaign and that campaign had one ad set called targeting one. And within that one ad set uh, called targeting one, we had one ad, which was this ad that I just changed the name of uh, creative one targeting one. And it was the ad that we set up. Now, what we did was we went ahead and we selected that ad set and we duplicated it. And when we did so, it also duplicated the ad that was in the ad set. And then we renamed this ad set. So we duplicated it, we renamed it, and we changed who it was targeting. We changed it to target someone differently, even though it's targeting uh, or a different group of people. And then we came over to the ad that was within it and we just, the ad's the same ad. It's the same exact ad we had going for the other ad set. We don't want to change the ad. The video's good. The headline's good. The text is good. We just want it to be put in front of a different group of people. So what we did was we just changed the name to creative one because this is our first piece of creative targeting two. And I want you to do that for all of the saved audiences that are within your budget to run. So basically go ahead, create a, a campaign, create an ad set, create an ad, and then duplicate it and target a different group of people at about 10 bucks a day for each one. That'll give you, uh, and then put it live. Then when you're ready to go, you click review changes and you're going to actually upload that live to Facebook. And in the next video, what we'll do is we'll review uh, some of the results and how to look at, you know, what's working and what's not working. So Ezra here, that's how you set up your first advertising campaign campaign soup to nuts. Get it done and I'll see you in the next video.